So we're gonna install the wiring harness today for our HTX Boss snowplow. Good morning, modern steaders. Yep, that's right. I got a sweatshirt on this morning. I'm telling you, winter's gonna be here before you know it. It's only 50 degrees out this morning. Them pigs have got it right. They're all cuddled up inside that tote this morning, keeping each other warm. Ah, sausage and links. You nice and warm in there? <clears throat> you grumpy this morning? It's in August now. So, two more months and we'll probably be seeing snow here in northern New Hampshire. Seems like we're always thinking about or preparing for winter up here in New England, especially northern New England. You coming? The big reason I haven't been using their automatic feeder is we've been getting so much rain. Sorry, I'm looking for their peel. We've been getting so much rain that their food is gonna get wet and their feed ain't cheap, so I don't want it getting wet and spoiling on us. I'm gonna take you by surprise, their sausage and links. cold last night so it's almost like they were in a refrigerator. Looks like we've got some new chickens laying some eggs. Nice small pullet eggs. Well, this is the first time we get to use the outdoor kitchen like this. But this is why we designed it with the doors in the center this way. So if we needed to, we could get the tractor in here or the truck. It doesn't fit very good, but we can be in the outdoor kitchen. So we're going to install the wiring harness today for our HTX Boss snowplow. And for starters, we got to take the grill out of our tundra. those four bolts we've got two little plastic clip rivets and I guess we're gonna find out what else and on the bottom it's got a couple of clips okay next thing we want to do is remove our headlights and it looks to me like we need to take this piece off. Get two screws back here. the same thing for the passenger side Now 
then in here there's little clips you just snap in to remove our headlights I don't want to take this little black plastic piece off need to give the headlights a good little tug. Then we want to lay out our wiring harness. Depending on your truck, these wires right here are going to be different. The harness comes with this and then the pigtails for the headlights are different per truck. We unplug the factory side. We also have a two pin connector on the back of this adapter, which will not be used. So we just want to grease it and just keep it tucked inside. At this point, we got to figure out which wire is our turn signal. hot turn signal wire is the black one. Boss supplies you with connectors right here. I'm going to put over the wire and then we can plug in the other end there. I myself am not a big fan of these style connectors. This is how the wiring harness is set up so I'm gonna put dielectric grease on them because if you're gonna have an issue with a wire corroding this is where it's gonna be you just lay it over your hot wire put it in place and fold it down and snap it in I'm going to repeat the same step for the passenger side turn signal. First, since my plow is not hooked up, I want to check all this. It should be hot in there, which it is. Awesome. And the directional is still working. And you got to repeat the same for your parking signal, but you only do it on your driver's side. You don't need to do it on the passenger side. Find your hot wire. And again, I'm just double checking it and making sure it works. Now we need to hook up 
all the headlight adapters on the driver's side. I just want to put a little bit of dielectric grease on everything. side we have our directional which is the purple violet they call it and plug that in the yellow wire is our parking light Make sure they're touching here. Let's make sure nothing's really pinched. we need to drill an inch and a quarter hole through the firewall. Doesn't look like we hit anything. Just some carpet. I don't know if you can see it, but the hole is right there. Perfect. I had this wire out of my way. I had it disconnected from the throttle pedal, so I didn't have to worry about drilling into it. It would have been close. So we have our end with two black wires, a black and red wire and then the plug to plug in our controller that's got to get sent into this hole. You're just a crazy cat, aren't you, mister? So I ran that main coax wire right there through that inch and a quarter hole I drilled. Bring the power wire over here to our fuse panel. We plugged it into a fuse block that turns on and off with the key. We have our plug-in for our remote. And then we had two of the wires we had to run up into a targo switch to give power to the truck or to the plow. So I ran my main power cable down here. It's sitting down here. I'm gonna take the black wire, put it to my negative. And there's two brown wires that come on the end, the one with the bigger eyelet goes to my negative power cable on the battery. I'm gonna put that first, and then the main. Negative feed, ground, whatever you'd like to call it. positive side you need to hook up your two reds with the big eyelets one of them is for the dual burn high beams and the other one is for the solenoid the directions say on your solenoid you don't want it any 
connected to anything that's conductive. So I put it on our fan shroud for our radiator, that's plastic. On one of the small holes, on one of the smaller screws, I got my brown wire, and then I got my two white and black wires on the other one. Doesn't matter which side you put these wires on. I ran my power supply down and under through the bumper and then my 13 plug ran it down here, cut a notch in the bumper and then this way I can just pull it out when I need it and then it, I can hide it and tuck it back in there and it's out of the way. It's not sticking up and out. So on the last step when you're putting in your wiring system you have to put in this turn signal relay kit and what this does is it slows down the turn signals from blinking so fast. I just got off the phone with Boss Technical Support. And the way this reads is misleading. You want to find your pink and purple wire, they call them pink and violet wire, off of this harness where it wise before it comes in and wise into the relay harness. You're going to go back in your corrugated area and pull out your pink and your purple. We're going to splice into them. We're going to connect our butt connectors. We have a purple with a yellow line and a pink with a yellow line. This is going to be on the downside towards the plug end for the plow. And without the stripes is going, the, going to go to the wire end towards the relay. So I'm going to do that next. All right, now we can finish putting the headlights and grill all back on. Now the grill.
Awesome. Oh, we finished that up just in time. It's raining out now. We got all the wiring done, but we weren't able to get the push plate put on before it started raining. The chickens are having fun hiding under the truck. Monday's video will be a normal video, and depending on the weather, we'll be able to get the truck and hopefully the plow put together sometime next week. If you guys like this video, leave it in the comments down below. It's not really a normal one, but trying to get the plow all put on, get set up for winter, and get all the kinks worked out before we get the first snow. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.